ओके सो इन द गिवन फिगर ए ही इज द डायमीटर ऑफ द सर्कल द क्वेश्चन इज राइट डाउन द न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू ऑफ एंगल ए बी सी दिस इज एंगल ए बी सी प्लस एंगल सी डी ई दिस इज एंगल सी डी ई गिव रीजन्स फॉर योर आंसर ओके सो वी विल हैव टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन दिस इज वन ऑफ द गुड क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो वॉट कैन यू डू इज यू कैन कंसनट्रेट यू कैन कंसनट्रेट ऑन दिस एंगल इफ यू ज्वाइन सी विद सेंटर लेट एस कॉल सेंटर एज ओ देन इफ यू ज्वाइन सी ओ देन दिस एंगल इफ दिस एंगल इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स then the angle subtended by this same chord ac this 2x angle is subtended by the chord ac right at the center but if you look at the angle subtended by this chord at the circumference you will have to join ce also let us join c and e so now this angle angle cea is the angle subtended by the chord ac at the circumference but using the property that angle subtended by the chord at the center is twice that of the angle subtended by the same chord at the circumference we can say the value of angle cea should become x again now look at quadrilateral aecb this quadrilateral aecb is cyclic quadrilateral because all the four vertices lie on a circle now since we know that the sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to 180 degrees we can comment on the value of angle b in terms of x this should become 180 minus x because their sum sum should become 180 degrees right similarly we can also comment on the angle cde for this we will have to consider the remaining angle at the center this remaining angle should be 180 minus 2x if this angle is 180 minus 2x what is the angle cae this angle is the angle subtended by chord ce at the circumference so it should be half of the angle subtended by the same chord ce at the center this angle at the center is 180 minus 2x so at circumference the angle subtended should be 90 minus x right now again look at the quadrilateral aedc this quadrilateral aedc is again cyclic quadrilateral because of which you can comment on the value of angle d this angle should become equal to 180 minus the opposite angle opposite angle is 90 minus x this should give you the value of angle d as 90 plus x so now you have both these angles angle b abc in terms of x is 180 minus x and angle cde in terms of x is 90 plus x so if you add these two angles this should always give you 270 degrees